and welcome back to Andres Arre, where today we'll be watching Raised by Wolves Season 1, Episode 5. So the last episode, um, uh, Episode 4 of Raised by Wolves, I wasn't a fan. I was actually really bored. Um, episode 1, I think, gave me the same vibes, or was it Episode 2? One of those episodes also was like kind of like a snore fest for me um and the episode episode four wasn't good for me either i actually on my spare time decided to read a little bit reviews of what other people had to say but everybody else seemed to like it every review i i read but maybe it's just my taste in shows but the uh, there was two episodes that i did like i think it was um two and three i think episode one just i wasn't interested so maybe that was like a filler episode. Last episode, um, Mother went hunting for parts amid the Ark wreckage. And her curiosity, she saw like this thing where like a dead body was in, which she just threw because she was unbothered. And she plugged herself in a vessel that was non-Android compatible. So then she saw like all these it just didn't maybe it was like way too high tech i didn't understand what she, what was going it looked like there was another campion it was a different actor it didn't look like campion it had two other kids i'm not sure if it was like an illusion or or what i'm i just don't know i don't i didn't i didn't understand that scene either um but like campion one of the campion's brothers and sisters killed her babies and campion lied to them and told them that they were snowballs so they wanted to play and it killed it. I don't know. Father's primary task is to provide food for the children. And he caught one of those monster animal things and locked it away in like the hut. So then he was trying to get Campion to um, kill it. But Campion, um, he had like empathy. So he had like a sense for not killing this creature. He didn't want to kill the creature. He went back and forth trying to find other things to eat but everything is like toxic so they couldn't eat it and they were going to go kill the creature one of the kids that was pregnant forgot her name she ended up killing the creature and eating it without even cooking it and like drinking the blood like she was a vampire it was kind of crazy i was like girl there's like diseases like clearly if the food that you guys are cooking is toxic a straight up animal who's eating the food or whatever and you're eating it raw with like blood coming out your face. I'm pretty sure that's toxic too. So hopefully she lives. Um, but that animal ended up being pregnant and she had the baby's womb in her hand and she felt some type of way because she's pregnant. And I think she didn't want the child. I could be lying. That could be a lie. Don't quote me. So this episode is called Infected Memory. As you see, I just kind of roll past. When I'm not really into something, I can't even like stay on track. You get the main gist of what happened last episode. It was just like all over the place for me. Um, but hopefully in this episode, what am I looking forward to? I'm ready for this father. Oh, the father and mother, uh, Marcus and the other lady, they ended up killing the leader of um, that religion the guy who was leading the pack they lit him on fire um so that was fun so i'm hoping in this episode that they could finally start making ways towards the kids like i need these kids to be reunited with the humans i need to see i need to see more action i think that's what i need to see i need to see mother get crazy i need to see battles but maybe it's just not that type of like show and that's why I'm bored. It's more technology and advanced stuff, which is really good for those that are into it. But in this episode, Infected Memory, we're going to probably see something that deals with somebody's past that isn't all that great. That's where I'm going to get that title from. Or maybe somebody's mind gets poisoned. Up in air, who really knows? Let's just jump into this episode and see what Raised by Wolves has got to give. Bloop. Move the children again. Another 60 miles out is probably going to take us at least two days to get there. Probably more with the church choir dragging ass. Are you ready to tell me about the voices you heard last night? Don't know what I was talking about. And there's an uncommon, even hallucination. Stop doctoring me. All right. Fine. Okay, fine. What's wrong with them? It was a year ago. Okay. All right. Well, you better get to preaching before they change their minds. Gather around. We must press on. The stolen children wait for us to save them, and save them, 
We will. Praise the soul. I intend to hear your advice on how to do Who put you in charge? This man heard the voice of Saul last night. He saved us from the throne of a faithless commander. I say he's a prophet. Oh! Not a pro- Not a prophet. Not how the line of succession works. Oh, line of succession has now been torn apart. <laughs> well. Oh, you guys got meat. <laughs> guys are not even excited about it either. Hmm. Pork. Pork. Tastes like pork. It shouldn't sound like that Which when you bite it. Which is a baby? Oh! <gasps> I highly doubt they wasted it. Mother said she buried it. Sure she did. He is annoying. Can we kill him? We good. We don't need him on six, seven, or eight. Or how many episodes there are. Why weren't you watching her? I saw something. What? I could never seem to catch it. Are you experiencing some kind of sensory malfunction? My senses are functioning normally. I accept your limitations. Limited as it may be, you know full well that I devote every ounce of my processing power to the well-being of this family. I love when androids fight. That's why you need an iPhone. Looks like part of the lower deck. It's the master self with the propulsion system. Collects a diffuse light, concentrates it into a single highly charged ray. Take it. Your what is she saying? Why is everybody whispering? <laughs> Before we can hunt the creatures, we must learn how to hunt for rocks. Girl, get over it. What you gonna do this whole episode? You gonna be upset? Answer to my question, yes. She's gonna be upset. Raped several women while their bodies were in hibernation. He oh. was sentenced to die. How ironic. You survive. Who are you? Limiting emergency automated servo habit. Leash. I'm a mobile prison system. This man is a liability to us all. Why should we shelter him? Especially after what he did to our women in their sleep. Soul commanded me to be fruitful. Uh-uh. Then with so few of us, why would we waste this cannon fire? He stays alive. He's been surviving the nights in this arc. I suggest we do the same. That's smart. Use him. Because he surely will die. Did you see what it was eating? Thank you, Nietzsche. Maybe we can too. Death is a part of life, Tempest. You're a necromancer. Of course you're cool with death. No offense. But reprogramming something like you to raise kids? I think your creator was kind of insane. Killer! There was an aquatic earth creature called Salmon. Then swim up the same rivers they were born in, beating their bodies against the rocks, spawning all the way until they died. When their corpses washed downstream, they'd provide essential nutrients. So you're saying that I should beat myself to death to feed this baby? Yeah, good. Try. <laughs> I got it! I almost dropped you. Well, then father don't like it when I take risks. I won't tell. If father couldn't see them over there by that big hole, then he is not a good android. I have dinner. Oh, thank you. We all put together our rations to ensure that you have a worthy meal. She's flirting with him. Eclipse my sin and strife with your hallowed fire. Why won't you speak to me again? My sin and strife. Those latex clothing, does that ever get irritating? Or like, do they sweat? Probably not. They're robots, they don't care. We may need to start going out after dark if we want to catch them. Have you tested the fungus? Not yet. Perhaps it is no longer advisable to leave you here alone. Mother. If you can't learn from your errors, father, how will I know you won't repeat them? I mean, she does have a point. You keep letting them roam. Is she seeing Tabby? Or Tabitha? What's her name? Tally. Tally. Wait! There's that That's dog again. Sin is not intended for Android. Begin simulation. She is. She is the fastest runner.
Yes, honey, that is you being operated on, darling. Find out why. Inhospitable to human life. Am I dead? I don't remember any of this. Campaign Sturgis. You used the education they gave you to. Against them. Thief. I will exterminate you. So this is like her beginning storyline. Campion Sturgis. Mm. Where did you go? I don't like it when you leave me alone. You improved so much in your emotional reorientation. No. You are going to be a wonderful mother. You brought me a baby. <laughs> Where did you find them? Got him in a camp. You said it was a baby. Tess. That scared me. Please don't leave me alone. Please don't. Don't leave me. You are perfect. Too good to be true. Your greatest power. My eyes. I please you. <laughs> Very much. Because I, I wish we had more time. You loved me. It's the reason why I created you. The new world that you start won't have the same problems that ended our world here on Earth. I don't understand. You speak as if you're not coming with me. Don't leave me. You won't be alone. There's father. She's gonna get. Fa He's gonna get father. I'm hurting. Inside. Come, let me fix you. This is actually sad. Wake up, mother. What? Wake up! What? Child is in danger. Get back to the settlement. What? Good morning. All right. Yes. Everyone is sleeping. And Tempest? She's been sleeping for hours. Why did you do this, Tempest? Why? You could have killed yourself and the baby. I don't want to exist. No. Then your brain is sick. Girl, all problem. you did was eat a baby. You are all my children. And I refuse to let any of you die. I can calm them myself. I'm only here to protect you. Okay, you're okay. Am I am I gonna die? No, you're just not gonna you're never gonna see out that eye again. I don't remember her doing all this. So, is somebody else doing this? The locators. Who's that? That was not a human. And I don't think that was a robot. These are the hills that we crossed. The valley we're in right now, and here. I know this place. This is a settlement. And that's our children. Our host has been watching that. You and I are only eating the fungus. The rest of you should do the same. I'm glad you two are becoming friends. It works <laughs> well for the colony. I'm merely his servant. Perhaps that is why Sol chose me for the task. Care you don't disappoint him. Oh, he may leave you too. So uh, there is a voice and it's possessing people. So if he starts raping people, it's the voice. That's what I learned. Now make love. 
turned to me like a great man. Are they finally there? Yeah, there they are. Girl, so aggressive. She's gonna kill a lot of you guys. And it's done. Okay, yes, yes. Yes, yes. I actually like that episode. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This this series is like one minute it was like mm, I'm gonna bore you. Next minute it was like I'm gonna give you something to to be to enjoy. Then another one is gonna be boring. And it's so I think that what's happening here is I'm like playing with my eyeball on camera. Sorry guys. I forgot sometimes as I'm even looking into this that it's actually recording. But I'm realizing now that this show is an on-again, off-again type of love relationship with me. Today, we're not fighting, but last week we were. So I'm hoping that we could be real good going out um, for the rest of this season. They finally did what I was kind of expecting, where they finally see their kids. Because I was like, how many more episodes are they going to drag this out with them trying to get to their kids and they can't see their kids? But we're getting, like, different characters now. Now we got this character who reminded me, since I saw him, reminded me of Star Wars. Those people with those um, bone staff things and, like, blah, 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 with, the, with the mask on their faces. If you're into Star Wars... You know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it was it was really this episode I liked. I liked this episode. I I was I was excited. I was excited. I was not bored. I did not yawn, I don't think, once. So that's a positive. So guys, that is my reaction to Raised by Wolves, episode four, entitled Infected Memory. I don't even know what the Oh, the infected memory was when she put the thing in her and she saw her past and she learned that she loved the human and the human who made her named Campion. You see, everything clicks, even with the outro. All right, guys, if you are not subscribed, please do me a favor, subscribe. Hit that red button, it's either here, 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 or here. I will never know where it is. If you also can do me a huge favor and like and share this content, Check out, I said content, content. Check out all my other contents and my reactions right now. And I'll see you guys next time on Andres Arre.